um, I don't know what's going to happen first. Either I'm going to upload this video and go live because I'm finna live stream on YouTube time to time whenever I'm just playing the game. Mostly because I've been a little busy, so I never really had the time to make a video, record and edit and do all that. Also, I haven't watched anime in a cool week. I'm currently like trying to just get re caught up to AOT because I saw it finished. So, you know, just rewatching all of that right now. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to come out first, either me live streaming or this video. But let me start this off rip with a statement. Niggas was overhyping this shit to hell. I had a homie, well not a homie, but a nigga I was talking to talking about some, oh yeah, this shit is fire, this shit anime of the year. I watched this, this shit is horrible, gang. I ain't gonna lie. It's good at moments, but most of the time, shit is ass if I'm keeping it a buck fifty. This shit is beyond basic when it comes to anime. And I guess it's the same shit with that Eminence of Shadow show. It's just introduced a lot of newer fans to anime like this so they don't know quality the difference between fucking quality and then just the basic shit that copies off of sick already pretty successful shows niggas just love fucking revenge and corny grunge shows i understand everybody had their phase but yeah this shit is horrible dude it has its few like you know up moments but most of the time it's just boring if i'm being completely honest it started off like halfway good like this first few episodes i'd say is pretty decent but the further it goes the worse it gets and this isn't me hating on it obviously because i did finish the show so it wasn't unbearable but there's far better shows that go over the same shit all right let me talk about the actual show now if you didn't already know which you probably already knew off of me calling it basic but it's literally just a basic revenge plot the nigga's poor and he got treated bad by a couple nobles that's literally all there is to it if i'm being completely honest i mean there's nothing different from every other fucking fantasy anime pretty much so the nigga well i won't say accidentally but he killed a nigga sort of on accident he didn't really mean to and then his skill activated which is called gluttony every time he kills somebody he gets their powers not really too special for being real i can name about 50 shows with the same exact power also there's this other girl forgot her name already i won't lie Oh, wait, no, 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 it's Roxy. She's pretty much just the main heroine of the show. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, a heroine. Something like that, not the drug. And I kind of already explained his power a second ago. He gets stronger every time he kills something. But since he's based off like one of the seven sins, gluttony, he has to like kill people like, well, not just people, but kill stuff in general or he'll just go crazy or something. But look at this nigga and tell me this shit isn't trying so hard to be edgy, bro. The nigga's name is Fate. He has a gluttony skill and his sword is called Envy. No, not Envy, fucking Greed. And then he wears a fucking skull mask talking about some that hides my identity. Maybe it, maybe this show, type of shit is just not for me, but this shit is so lame. Niggas trying to be so badass for what, dude? My bad if I'm hating. I'm really just trying to give my opinion on this shit. But I mean, I guess that's really what the point of these videos are for is giving my opinion in a slight summary, I guess. And I know there's some like crazy defenders on this show, but they're all either very middle aged or they're just young because everyone had like a fucking anime edge fan edge uh phase my man i mean sometime later he caught up to one of the nobles that was like torturing him at the start he beat his ass obviously and that was kind of cool i guess a lot of times in these type of shows they just be like oh i'm too great to do all this or i won't stoop to your level or some shit like that so i mean i guess it was kind of cool to see the nigga actually killing his fucking enemies and his revenge plot i guess oh yeah I, I really didn't talk about his weapon but that shit is beyond corny nigga has a scythe mode a fucking katana mode and a fucking bow mode and a fucking crossbow mode like this shit is so lame dude oh yeah and it just happens to be pure black and unbreakable too like fuck out of here gang and this nigga's eyes turn red when he's mad and shit like bro can we not i know i'm, I'm literally complaining and niggas are gonna be like why'd you watch it? i literally say this every video that i'm hating i watch it because i don't even know i ain't got a reason for you bro i just watched it because i could some like episodes later he meets up with this girl also another basic hoe i'm not gonna even go over that she's one of those silent 
fucking types at E Alliance is as strong and it's like what is it? I don't remember the term for it, but you know what I'm talking about. One of those anime characters they try well, not characters, but one of them anime females that try too hard to appeal. They just try far too hard to make it like some new fucking hit woman or something that niggas gonna fuck with. Like, no one really cares, if I'm being completely honest. Like, when it comes to animes like this, I don't even hate the writers. I'm pretty sure they're just all cash grabs because it's impossible to be this ununique without literally trying. Few episodes more. We meet up with dude right here, one with the white hair, old nigga. He cool i guess not really too special but he's at least a decently respectable character so don't hate him few weeks later months i don't know i wasn't really keeping up with the time skips but some time later they run into this monster called like a damn i already forgot uh i'm gonna just call them like mechas for now so they met up with the mecha there's people inside the mecha who control it and the people well they're obviously dead and not conscious but the person who was in this happens to be another one of the sins so she holds like one of the powers that mc holds also i didn't mention a girl from earlier i was just talking about basic she also holds one of them she's like a wrath or something and her weapon is envy or greed i don't remember what her weapon was sloth it was sloth now i remember but yeah apparently all these fucking people were all experiments and that's why they have these powers i find it kind of strange when fucking fantasy anime trying to get all sci-fi and shit talking about no this is actually in the future but technology failed and everyone bit back to the primitive days or some like no that i don't know it just never hits for me i guess if you can't tell i have a pretty decently high standards when it comes to anime and shows in general actually just shit in general i have decently high standards because i've already experienced some of the best shit so obviously i'm gonna have high standards because i know what good is also he meets up with this girl let me show her uh Aeris, i'm pretty sure that's her name she's not too important now maybe she'll be important in like a season two or whatever they did tease it so i wouldn't be surprised but she's another one of the sins i'm pretty sure she was lust didn't say this earlier but mc is hiding his identity and his skill because apparently this world's powers are based on gods and the sins go against it so he'll be like hunted down if people find out he has gluttony so he's out here fighting with his girl but his girl doesn't know it's him because he has a mask on which apparently like magically hides his fucking identity oh did i also mention the nigga's fucking hidden name was corpse not hidden name but nickname is corpse like t please tell me how this is not trying too hard please tell me i deadass want to know how this is not corny won't spoil it but the final fight is like halfway decent i guess but what confused me is some stupid shit so mc lost his arm in the middle of the fight but the nigga is supposed to have regeneration he got it off one of the monsters and the monster could regenerate his body parts when it was taken off so why couldn't he regenerate here the nigga had to do some whole ass ritual to get his arm back when he literally already has a regeneration skill, did he just forget he has that? Or was this just bad writing? Maybe, I don't know, maybe the regeneration has limits, but I could have sworn it specifically said he can use the fucking abilities of monsters he's killed. And that monster was regenerated in his arms. That was like in the first fucking episodes. But I don't know, I guess it just doesn't work because they wanted to add more screen time or some bullshit. Like I said earlier, show ends off on a cliffhanger talking about some oh, I'm going to go find the rest of whatever, whatever, and then solve conflict or whatever, whatever. Not, not too crazy. Overall, I won't be watching season two. That's pretty much it. I don't, I don't know. If you want to watch it, go ahead. But just keep in mind, you're not going to really enjoy your watch. Not that it's bad. It's just kind of basic. Cool. Five out of 10. Okay. Maybe, maybe 5.5. 5.